There's a hidden problem with using Ableton for your live sets, but luckily there's a fix. If you want to mix down a live performance and the band used Ableton's built-in click track, this will happen. Even if your BPM in Ableton and Pro Tools is the exact same, over time they'll start to get out of sync. This is because of differences in the clocks between the two DAWs, and there's no embedded tempo happening in the recorded stems. It's very small differences that slowly start to add up over the course of a whole song. Especially if you mix church music like me, and the songs are 18 and a half hours long. Here's how to fix it tempo mapping. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're recording the click track that the band is using. This will be our reference for creating our custom grid. Then in Pro Tools, we turn on conductor mode, make sure tab to transients is turned on, and make sure you're in grid mode. Then we hit tab to get to our first click transient, hit command I to identify our beat. We tell it the proper bar, the proper beat, and then we hit OK. Then we do the next one. So over here, it is beat two. And you can see it's made a little marker right here. Then we just keep going chronologically and slowly but surely we are creating our grid. And now you'll notice that Pro Tools is creating a new grid with a slightly different BPM than Ableton's. You'll need to go chronologically throughout the whole song. Sometimes you can get away without having to map every subdivision of the click, but a word of caution. If you're not absolutely nailing it, it can cause a lot of problems down the road. Make sure you're only tabbing to the click transients and not like a random drum or something. Also, if you have a stream deck like I do, you can make a simple macro that does tab, then command I with the single press of a button. So here's before we tempo mapped, and here's after we tempo mapped. 